Hello viewers, in this video we are going to discuss View Serializability. View Serializability, it is a process used to find out if a given schedule is view serializable or not. In other words, we can say this view serializability technique, it is used to find out if a given schedule is view equivalent of its serial schedule or not. So, if a schedule is determined as view serializable or view equivalent of its serial schedule, that schedule always gives consistent result. Okay, two schedules, let it be S1 and S2, they are said to be view equivalent. If in both the schedules, the transactions that perform initial read, final write and update read on each data items are same. Let us now discuss view serializability concept with an example schedule. Here a schedule S1 is taken, it is a non-serial schedule. Why it is non-serial schedule? You can notice here before the completion of all the operations in T1, T2 is permitted to execute. That's why it is a non-serial schedule. And uh, we know that non-serial schedules may not always give consistent result. That's why before permitting non-serial schedule to be executed, it has to be ensured that it provides consistent result. That is, it has to be determined as serializable schedule. Okay, uh, when a schedule is determined as serializable, then it give it always gives consistent result. That is the reason we go for determining the given schedule, either it is uh, serializable or not. Okay, so to determine this schedule as serializable, let us apply the view serializability concept. So according to view serializability concept, we have to uh, determine. Uh, what are the transactions perform initial read, update read and final write on each data items in the given schedule. Okay, there are two uh, data items are there, A and B, right? So on this we have to um, check what are the transactions perform initial read, update read and final write. Okay, if we take uh, operations on A, uh, initial read, the read operation which is performed at the beginning is known as initial read. So this initial read is done by T1. Then update read. Update read it means after the write operation on A, who performs a read on A. So this read operation is uh, known as update read. So this update read is done by T2. Then there are two write operations are there, but uh, the final write is done by T2. So, so now T1 is doing uh, initial read, T2 is uh, doing update read, and T2 is doing final write. That's what we, uh, we now um, noticed. Then similarly, uh, if we notice uh, B data item operations also, uh, initial read is done by T1, update read is done by T2, final write, uh, this one is done by uh, T2. Okay. So now um, we have to do the same process uh, of observing uh, initial read, update read, final write on data items in the serial schedule of uh, the given non-serial schedule. Here this is the uh, serial uh, schedule of this uh, non-serial schedule. How we got this? Um, we simply arranged all the operations of T1 first and uh, after after that uh, we, uh, we have arranged all the operations in T2. So this schedule is a uh, serial schedule because there is no overlap between the execution of uh, operations in T1 and T2. So we have to uh, now uh, we have to observe uh, initial read, update read, and final write on uh, both the data items. Here in T1, um, init uh, initial read uh, on A is done by uh, T1, and uh, update read after write operation on A. Who is doing the read operation on A? T2. Okay. Then uh, there are two write operations on A. Uh, the final write is done by T2. Similarly. Uh, on A, uh, first read operation is done by, sorry, on B, first read operation is done by T1 and the update read on B is done by T2, right? Then uh, final write on B is done by, there are two write operations, then final write on B is done by T2. So now we have noticed uh, 
the in all the three operations initial read update read and final write on a in both the schedules are performed by the same set of uh, transactions t1 t2 t2 and if we take b also we can notice the same set of transactions are doing uh, the three operations uh, t1 t2 t2 here also t1 t2 t2 that's why we can uh, determine that uh, uh, s1 is the s1 is the q equivalent of s2 so when it is determined as u equivalent of its um, serial schedule, then the given schedule S1 is uh, view serializable. It means it will always give consistent result. Okay, students, uh, this is about view, view serializability. Uh, if you find this video useful to you, kindly subscribe this channel. Thanks for watching.